Hey, is everything okay? I thought I saw travelers coming down the road. Yeah? Though I scarcely believed it. Have you come to help us? Uh, help, help you? What do you mean? Is there a problem or? So you, you don't know? No. Has nobody out there heard? Heard of what? Uh, I, I heard the Arl was sick, if that's what you mean. Otherwise, no, I haven't heard anything. He could be dead for all we know. What? Nobody's heard from the castle in days. Days? We're under attack. Monsters come out of the castle every night and attack us until dawn. Everyone's been fighting and dying. Is anyone surprised? Anyone? Nope. We've no army to defend us. No Arl and no king to send us help. So many are dead. And those left are terrified they're next. Hold on, what is this evil that's attacking you? I, 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 I don't rightly know. I'm sorry, nobody does. I should take you to Ban Tegan. He's all that's holding us together. He'll want to see you. Right. Ban Tegan, our Lehman's brother, he's here. Yes. It's not far, if you'll come with me. It's Thomas, yes? And who are these people with you? They are obviously not simple travelers. Oh, good I. <laughs> no, my lord. They just arrived, and I thought you would want to see them. Well done, Thomas. Greetings, friends. My name is Tegan, Ban of Rainosphere, brother to the R. I remember you, Ban Tegan, though the last time we met, I was a lot younger and covered in mud. Covered in mud? Alistair? It is you, isn't it? You're alive! This is wonderful news! Still alive, yes. Though not for long if Tern Loghain has anything to say about it. Indeed. Loghain would have us believe all Grey Wardens died along with my nephew, amongst other things. You don't believe Loghain's lies? Is that, uh, is that what you're trying to tell us? What, that he pulled his men in order to save them? That Caelan risked everything in the name of glory? <laughs> Hardly. Loghain calls the Grey Wardens traitors, murderers of the king. I don't believe it. It is an act of a desperate man. So you are a Grey Warden as well? I am. A pleasure to meet you. I wish it were under better circumstances. Likewise. You're here to see my brother. Unfortunately, that might be a problem. Eamon is gravely ill. No one has heard from the castle in days. No guards patrol the walls, and no one has responded to my shouts. The attack started a few nights ago. Evil... Things surged from the castle. We drove them back, but many perished during the assault. Uh, okay. What exactly are these evil things that you're talking about, though? Do you have a description of them, or...? Some call them the walking dead. Decomposing corpses, returning to life with a hunger for human flesh. They hit again the next night. Each night they come, with greater numbers. With Kaelin dead and Loghain starting a war over the throne, no one responds to my urgent calls for help. I have a feeling tonight's assault will be the worst yet. Alistair, I hate to ask, but I desperately need the help of you and your friends. It isn't just up to me. Though the Grey Wardens don't stand much chance against Loghain without Arl Eamon. No, of course we'll help. No, no, no. Absolutely. I couldn't just stand by and let you guys get slaughtered like that. Thank you. Thank you. This means more to me than you can guess. Thomas, please tell Murdoch what transpired. Then return to your post. Yes, my lord. Now then, there is much to do before night falls. I put two men in charge of the defense outside. Murdoch, the village mayor, is outside the Chantry. Sir Perth, one of Eamon's knights, is just up the cliff at the windmill, watching the castle. Okay. You may discuss with them the preparations for the coming battle. Okay, listen. Yes, but can I talk to you about the situation a little bit more in depth so I know what I'm getting into, or...? Of course. All right, so the timing of all this, awfully convenient, isn't it? The Arl gets very, very, very ill, and then all of this happens? Are you going to investigate or thinking about investigating this further? Are you suggesting what's happened here is related to Kaelin's death and the Civil War, even Eamon's illness? Yeah, it's 100% actually what I'm suggesting, because this is all too many things to actually be a coincidence. Do you know why the Arl is ill? 
to kind of separate one from the other, or...? No, I do not. I arrived recently myself, having heard the news. I know as much as you do now. And isn't the Arl heir to the throne, and now Kaelin's dead, so isn't the only thing that stands between Loghain and the throne technically the Arl? Our sister was Kaelin's mother. I suppose we've royal blood, but it's a shaky claim to the throne, though still better than Loghain's. And it does mean Eamon could intervene in Loghain's bid for the throne, but let's not leap to conclusions. Too late! I would not like to think that anyone would wish this on my brother. He is a good man, and much loved by the people of Redcliffe. And I can't imagine how terrible it must be for our lesser Isolde, and especially Connor. I would not want him to lose his father at such a young age. No, I don't want that either. Um, it seems like you have some of the Arl's knights here, is that right? I know we met some of them on the road, but... I have those few who returned from their quest. You know of this, yes? Yeah, the search for the sacred ashes, right? Yes, I question Isolde's decision to send so many knights in search of this relic. But I am a practical man, whereas she is a woman of great faith. Sir Perth was one of the knights sent on this quest. Perhaps you should speak to him if you wish to learn more. No, I'll definitely go and talk to him and see if I can learn more information about that. What exactly are these things, though, that are attacking the village? I do not know. They seem to be walking corpses, men with rotting flesh that continue to attack even with the gravest injuries. Undead, perhaps. Spirits possessing the bodies of the dead. We could be dealing with a mage, but who would do such a thing? Someone pretty awful. I mean, that that's the only thing that comes to mind for that. So what happens after the battle is over, though? Hopefully we can find the source and stop it before it causes any more damage. With luck, we'll also find Eamon and be able to help him. All right. Well, thank you for the information. I should probably get back and go talk to those people. Very well. Luck be with you, my friend. You too. Thank you again. All right. Let's, uh, let's do what we can to help these people, huh? I'm scared, Mother. What oh. I'm so scared, Father. What are we going okay. to do? Well, we'll do what we can for them. You Are you the all right? To hear you? Sorry. Am I bothering you? No. I'll I'll try to be more quiet. No, you're not. Are you all Are you all right? Are you crying or Those Those things dragged my mother away. I don't know what happened to her, but I hear her screaming all the time everywhere. And now my brother Bevan, he he ran off. I, I don't know where he is. I'm so scared they got him too. Uh okay. Listen, I can go look for him, so don't worry. I'll go out there. I gotta go out there anyways and do some stuff, so I will go search around for your brother. You will? Yeah. Thank you so much. Please find him. I'll do my best. Good luck. And we just... have no choice. We must pray and hope for the... Coming back from the castle, Murdoch. Tell them to maintain watch. I don't want a surprise attack before the sun goes down. Yes, sir. What should we do until then? Pray, and hope for a miracle. Hey, are you Murdoch? So you're the Grey Warden, are you? I am. I didn't think they made women Grey Wardens. I know, what a surprise, right? They make women Grey Wardens. What's next? So you say, a damn Kunari could walk up and say he was a Grey Warden. I wouldn't know the difference. We aren't going to turn aside anyone who wants to help, though. Don't take me for being an ingrate or nothing. I would never. Well, we do want to help however we can. You can trust us. Name's Murdoch, mayor of what's left of the village, providing we aren't all killed and hauled off to the castle tonight. Well, I'm Emery. It's nice to meet you. Fair enough. What can I do for you? I heard that you could use some help, so what can I do? We need what little armor and weapons we got repaired, and quickly, or half of us will be fighting without either. Owen's the only blacksmith who can do it, but the stubborn fool refuses to even talk. If we're to be ready for tonight, we'll need that crotchety bastard's help. Okay, so I guess I will go and talk to him, but why is he refusing to talk and or help? It might help me if I have the information. His daughter, Valena, is one of the Alessa's maids. So he hasn't heard from her since this whole business started. All right. He demanded we attack the castle, break down the gate, and force our way in. I said it was impossible, but he wouldn't listen. He's locked himself in the smithy now. I can't force him to do repairs. He said he'd rather die first. Okay. Well, then I'll uh, go see what I can do about that. Is there anything else that you need after that? We could use some extra bodies. 
Having a veteran like Dwin in the militia would help a lot, but he flat out refuses. Okay, tell me about this Dwin character and why he flat out refuses to help. He's a trader, a dwarf, lives near the lake, locked himself up in his home with some of his workers, he has. Says he doesn't need any of us. We could use somebody with his fighting experience, but he won't come out. Okay, I'll go and talk to them then, thank you. Right. Let's hope we see morning. Cheer up! We'll definitely see morning. I can't tell you if we're gonna survive much past that, but we're definitely gonna go see morning. All right. So do we go find Dwit? No, you know what? I think we should go deal with the smithy first. That seems the most important. Is this him? I think so. Is this where we were pointed? Go away. Curse you. Leave me in peace. You've already taken everything out of my stores. There's nothing left. Okay, listen, I need you to open this door so we can have a heart-to-heart, -heart, if that's okay. Oh, huh? Who is that? What do you want? I've been through enough. I know, I know, but listen, I don't like talking through a door. It takes a lot more effort than just talking face-to-face, -face, and plus we can have a little bit more privacy, and I don't think you want everything kind of aired out for everybody to hear even more, so let's, let's do this. Mm. All right, all right. Let me undo the locks. Thank you. All I ask is that you don't make any trouble. I won't. Shale, you heard him. No trouble. I'll do it. Somebody's been drinking. Just a little. So I let you in. You wanted to talk. Now we're talking. Mind telling me who you are? I'm Emery. It's really nice to meet you. How are you outside of, well, everything that's going on? Funny, you didn't sound like an elf through the door. Can't say I expected that. Anyhow, my name's Owen, though you might already know that. Care to join me as I get besotted? Or is there something in particular you wanted? Um, okay. So, it smells like a brewery in here. How much have you exactly had to drink? I've been drinking since I got up this afternoon. Oh, good. That makes, um, three days. Three? Maybe more. Dear goodness, um, have you heard of water? Might I suggest just a couple of big shots of water to really help with that? It, it will do wonders for you. Uh, trust me. Listen, why have you locked yourself in the smithy? My girl, Valena, is one of the Alessa's maids and she's trapped up there in the castle but the mayor won't send anyone for her. She's been my life since my wife passed on two years ago. Now she's dead, or soon to be. I don't care what happens to me or the village or anyone. Okay. So you intend to what? Drink yourself to death? That doesn't really make sense. You could instead work to help save her. How about that? I'm an old man. Everyone knows we aren't making it through the night. Or are you going to save us? Well, I'm going to try and um, help you save yourselves you know what i mean because you got to be able to do it but i'm here to help so we're gonna all do it together it'll be great great night we're gonna have fun we're gonna kill a bunch of like undead dead zombie possessed spirit things it'll be fun is that so hmm. maybe it's the drink talking but you almost sound like you believe that because i do it'll do me the world of good to think maybe someone like you could go in and find her. Provided any of us live through the night. Okay. Listen. Here's what we're gonna do. If we survive the night, I'll go in and find her. If you can help them, help us survive the night. Not good enough. Murdoch said the same damned thing. And I didn't believe him either. I want to promise. Promise me that you'll look for her. That you'll bring her back to me if you can. Okay, I promise. If I can go in after we survive the night, I will go in and I will find her and I will bring her back to you if I can. And if not, I will bring you back the news. How's that? We will do our best. Please believe us, friend. I'll accept that. It's something to hope for at least. Yes, it is. And I suppose there's no point in me sitting around, is there? Nope. Time to relight the forge and get the smithy going, eh? Murdoch will be pleased. If you need anything done, well, 
Just let me know. I've got a lot to do now, so you'll have to excuse me. Remember, please drink some water before you start doing all of that, because, well, it seems dangerous if you're drunk, especially having been drunk for three days. Well, it looks like Owen's finally doing the repairs we need. Got it done. The damn fool is falling over a drunk and still manages to make smithying look easy. Good enough, I say. I'll send one of my men to inform Bantigan the militia is ready for battle. All right, listen here, you. We're not just ready. We're gonna win, all right? So let's not have that kind of attitude here. We need to, you know... Yay, we're gonna win, kind of added, which I know sucks and it's really hard to do, but in cases like this, we really should have something like that, especially if you're the leader. I hope you're right. We may just be village folk, but we're going to fight like there's no tomorrow. Exactly. All right, I still gotta go talk to Dwin and I gotta go speak to Sir Perth and all this other stuff, so I will be back. Good luck. I have a good feeling about tonight. Good. Good. That makes one of us. Okay, I think that this is the home of that lady whose brother is missing. Um, do we think he ran back home? Hello? Do you guys hear that? Did, did you? Hey, is somebody here? Go away. This isn't your home. Young man, come out this instant. I... Yes, ma'am. I'm so happy Wynn is here. All right, I came out. You won't hurt me, will you? No. I'll go back to the Chantry if you really want. Okay, listen. Yes, but also, what were you doing in here in the first place? I... I can't tell you. It's a secret. Okay, are you sure? Because maybe it's something that I could help you with so you don't go running off again and scare your sister. You could. Yeah. All right, I guess. I just... Father said I could have his sword when I grew up. It was Grandfather's. And Grandfather was a great dragon slayer. I thought... If I was brave like Grandfather, I could use his sword and... Kill the bad people who took Mother. Oh, kid. Kid. You had the right idea. You really did. And that is... That is brave. Thank you, miss. But... The sword was, is too heavy for me. I guess I'm not as strong as I thought I was. Where's the sword now? But listen, you know you'll grow up eventually, right? And then you can use it? That doesn't help us now. Caitlin says everyone's going to die tonight. Hey, 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 hey! What about that brave attitude that you had a few minutes ago? I mean, yeah, things might not go well tonight, but nothing is certain. So remember, we're being brave. Yes, ma'am. Good. Where is the sword now? In the chest. In Mother's room. Father gave me a key, but I'm not supposed to give it to anyone. Maybe if I had the key and the sword, I could use it to help you and your sister. How would that be? And then you can have the sword back. You could? Yeah. Maybe you could... give my sister money? She said if we had money, we'd be alright. Even if Mother is dead. I'll go talk to your sister about it. How's that? Oh, all right. Here's the key. I hope you use it to kill a lot of those bad people. I will, kid. I should go back to the Chantry. Good luck. This kid, though. What a, what a brave kid. All right, we got to help them. I refuse to not help this child. This child needs, well, pretty much any support we can give him. All right, I want to go back and talk to that kid's sister. We'll make sure he also got back, okay? Because, I mean, I know it's not that far, but kids can get into trouble very easily. Don't ask me how I know this, though. Bevan said you were the one who found him. I can't possibly repay you. You don't need to repay me at all. I'm just happy that he's safe and you're safe and, you know, all of that. Listen, about the sword that I found in your house, though. Bevan told me about Grandfather's sword. So you have it, then? I do. I suppose it won't go to waste, at least. I promised Bevan, though, that I would uh, pay you for it. I have no idea what it's worth, to be honest. 
And you found Bevan. I couldn't ask you for money. I do believe, though, that this is probably one of the most valuable swords I've ever seen, so... Why don't you take this for it and make sure that your brother is well taken care of? That's, that's incredibly kind of you. Thank you so much. How can I ever repay you? You don't have to. Just stay safe. That's all I want. The Maker sent you. I just know it. Thank you again. You're welcome. All right, we helped those two out. We got the smithy working again. So far, so good. I guess now it's up to us to go talk to that Dwin person. Was that his name? Dwin? I don't know. Hopefully he's not as hard to talk to as Murdoch made it out to be. But if he is, that's why we brought Shale. Also, Win. Win, you do the disapproving mother thing really, really well. So if you could just bring that out when we go talk to him, that would be fantastic.